Hi and welcome to the third assembly of this term. Before we make a start today, I just want to say a really big well done to everyone for all the great work that you're doing from home and for the resilience and determination that you're all showing. You are all doing a brilliant job. Okay, the theme for this week's assembly is internet safety and cyberbullying. Here we go. Getting connected. It's so easy for us to connect to the internet that we probably don't even think about it. Whether it's a laptop, tablet, smartphone or smartwatch, we can be online at the flick of a switch. In some cases, not even that. I could be sat at home on the sofa and listen to some of my favourite music just by saying, Alexa, play some music by Oasis. For many, social media has become a popular way of keeping in touch with friends and family, particularly over the last few months. A number of these forms of social media are instantly recognisable, but perhaps it's less well known that each comes with a minimum age for account holders. Approximately half of the children aged 11 and 12 in the UK have a social media profile, despite most platforms' minimum age being 13. Only using age-appropriate social media sites and apps is the first step to keeping yourself safe online. Improvements in online technology has made a number of day-to-day -day tasks quicker, easier or just more fun to do. We're all probably spending more time online than usual at present and may have even developed new IT skills that we didn't have 10 weeks ago. We shouldn't forget that every time we go online we're exposed to certain risks. Here are some top tips for how to stay safe online. If you're watching this right now, my powers of deduction tell me that there's about a 100% chance that you use the internet. <laughs> I'm so smart. Thanks for logging onto YouTube today and checking out Wellcast. We're super glad you're here. And since you've already conveniently placed yourself online, we're going to talk to you today about internet safety. Now, wait a minute. Okay, before you roll your eyes and say, my mom told me all about internet safety already, or my surf instructor explained to me the dangers of leaving information on the internet. Just hear me out, all right? We spend a lot of time on the internet here at Wellcast, and we give pretty awesome advice. I think you'll agree. So today, we're going to give you our top four things that you absolutely need to know about internet safety. Are you ready? Tip one, the internet is forever, ever, ever, ever. That was all in-house. No joke, anything that you put on the internet, no matter how old, could be there until you have grandchildren of your own who will be Googling you. I mean, if Google is even still a thing in 40 years, I mean, who knows, maybe Bing can make a great comeback. So what do you do? Well, start by Googling your name, your phone number, your address, just to find out what's really floating around out there. Plus, it's kind of fun. If you're on social media, and who isn't, use the strictest privacy settings out there. Tip two, don't put personal information online. 73% of teens and 68% of young adults are on social networking sites. Of those people, roughly half post personal information, phone numbers, addresses, emails. Don't do that. If you do, it leaves you open for attacks from either cyberbullies or just some weird folks who want to take advantage of you. Do yourself a favor and ask a trusted friend what private information they can see on your sites. If you're not happy with the answer, remove it. Tip three, don't forget about smartphone safety. In an era of smartphones, cyber safety should extend to your phone too, especially when it comes to tech safety. Remember how your parents warned you about accepting car rides from strangers? All right, don't accept phone calls or texts from strangers either. Only answer texts and phone calls from your contact list. Tip four, handle hacking intelligently. Part of being a member of the World Wide Web is being aware that no matter how careful you are, your account may get hacked. Getting hacked sucks, but it isn't the end of the world. And there are a few important things to do when you get hacked to ensure your safety. A, change that password and make the new one secure. Make it unpredictable. According to a CBS article, password was the most popular password of 2012, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six. People, we can do better than this. If you're really going for all out cyber safety, and you should, check to see if your email service provides two-step verification. It's not impossible, but that is a hard nut to crack. B, 
check your sent box, and let any affected people know that you were spammed. Especially if your account sent out a phishing link. Your friends deserve to know what's up. C. Do a sweep of your computer with antivirus software. Alright, odds are, not only did you send something nasty out to your friends, you might have something nasty lurking in the recesses of your hard drive! D. Back up your files. If there's a virus your computer doesn't catch, you don't want to lose everything. Okay, backing up files is totally a chore, but you'll be really happy you did it. Go ahead and invest in a cheap, portable hard drive and keep it somewhere safe. To recap, remember these points. 1. Anything you put on the internet will be there for a very long time. Believe me, I've thought a lot about this. 2. Your personal information shouldn't be visible to everybody. 3. Do not accept phone calls or texts from strange numbers. And 4. If you're hacked, change your password, check that sent box, and clean off your hard drive ASAP. Cyberbullying is any form of bullying which takes place online through a mobile device, smartphone or tablet. It's intended to cause another person harm, distress or personal loss. Cyberbullying is prevalent on social media sites such as Facebook, Snapchat and Instagram, via instant and direct messaging, through email and in online gaming communities. Over half the UK's 12 to 15 year olds have faced some form of bullying including cyberbullying over the last year. The next clip addresses the issue of cyberbullying. Run away, away with me. Lost souls in revelry. Running right, running free. Have you ever cyber bullied anyone? Have you ever been cyber bullied? Have you ever witnessed cyber bullying? 100% of teenagers answer yes to at least one of those questions. So that means everybody has a part to play to help stop this needless behaviour online. Play your part by using stop, block, tell. Stop. Stop and think before posting something online that might be upsetting to someone. Think about how you would feel if you were in their position. Block. If you are a victim of cyberbullying, block and report the person that has been bullying you. Tell. If you think you're being cyberbullied, report the person that's bullying you to a parent, guardian or teacher. Cyberbullying is not okay. Nobody deserves it. And we can all help to put an end to it. For good. In addition to the stop, block and tell advice, and before you make the decision to use a particular social media app, take the time to understand how to block other users, how to report anything you're not comfortable with, and how to set the strictest possible privacy settings for your account. All social media platforms should have an in-app reporting tool that's usually found within settings. Social media and instant messaging apps can be a fantastic way of keeping in touch with friends and family. But we all have a responsibility to use social media positively. Before you post anything online, think, is what I'm about to say true? Is it helpful? Is it inspiring? Is it necessary? And is it kind? 
If the answer to any of these questions is no, then don't post it. Whenever you're online, always keep yourself safe. Never share any personal information such as your name, address, school or telephone number. Use social media responsibly. You don't need to use multiple apps and always attach the highest security settings to your profile. Report anything that you see online that makes you uncomfortable. Remember, stop, block and tell. Think before you post. If you're not sure, don't post it and never post anything that will hurt, upset or embarrass anybody. I hope you enjoyed this week's assembly and found the information useful. Have a really good week and I'm looking forward to seeing you back in school soon.